and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a highly requested video and it is going to be my Amazon teacher haul. So I just wanted to begin with kind of like a disclaimer. I'm not making this video so that I can like brag about all of the stuff I was able to buy. But you guys, I am very thankful and I feel very blessed to have received some extra money that I was not expecting from thank you for that <laughs> and I decided that I was going to take a portion of that money and invest it into my classroom some of the things that I've been putting on my classroom wish list for a really long time on Amazon and just thought that this would be the perfect opportunity to just get all the things on my wish list and um, then I wouldn't have to spend you know the money I was expecting <laughs> on that and I can spend it on something else um, so <laughs> next to me is this giant iron or I guess metal uh, bookshelf and that's one of the items that I bought and I will show it to you guys in a minute um, but it is full of stuff and so I wanted to just jump right in and get started with these items because there is quite a few and um, so all of these items are they were on my Amazon wish list and over the last couple months I've been adding them in so a lot of them were inspired by people on Instagram I cannot share with you where I got the ideas from because I honestly could not tell you at this point who it was that I saw using it or doing something with it because I probably was scrolling through Instagram saw it and then added it into my wish list so I'm just gonna start grabbing stuff bringing it down show it to you guys and kind of really briefly tell you what it's for and then I will do my best to link everything down in the description below so that you guys can find anything that you saw today that I got that you are interested in getting um, that way you can find it right away and you won't have to search for it yourself so let's go Okay, so I'm just gonna start with some decor pieces. So as you guys know, my classroom theme isn't really a theme. I pretty much just have like black and white furniture with lots of pops of color. And this coming school year, I really wanted to incorporate a lot of greenery and more like plants. So I decided to grab a couple of plant looking things for decor. So the first one is this like ball of like fabric greenery garland it's like ribbon actually um you can kind of see it there um but I thought this would be really cute like around a bulletin board like I could swirl it around and kind of like use it as decor so I got that and then I also grabbed one of these long it's very powdery inside which is very strange this is like one of those long garland pieces but it's just greenery I have a couple of them in my house but it looks like this and it's just like a piece of garland. So again, I thought that, that would be really cute either like around a bulletin board, maybe it could border my smart board or a Promethean board, um, whatever the case, but I thought that would be really cute just to add some pop of green. And then another bulletin board item I got was just this Bordet um, thick border and it's the really like thick kind. Um, so I just grabbed one of those. I'll probably end up getting another one of these, but for now I just got the one. Um, this is really cute. So this is just a sign and I really liked how it had like the farmhouse wood because and I'll show you guys not I won't show it to you but in here is some um, better than paper like shiplap bulletin board paper the white wood and the white brick. I'll show you guys pictures of it but that's what's in here and I thought that that would be really cute with this and it just says um, throw kindness like confetti so I really liked that. And then I also grabbed some of these sticky back giant googly eyes. These are the six inch ones. And I know you guys have seen it on Instagram. It says like look and it's where you put your learning targets. I really want to do that. So <laughs> I got these and then of course I'll just cut the rest out with vinyl. But these were really cute. And then one last decor piece for my room is this book like spinning book display and I am obsessed. It's a lot bigger than I thought and it's gonna hold a ton of books. I thought this would be a great spot to put like my diary of a wimpy kid collection or my dog man books, the ones that the kids really like to read or like series books I could put on here and then just put on top of my bookshelf because I do need a little bit more space for books. Um, but yeah, I thought that would be really nice to have on my bookshelf. Okay, so the next couple of items are more like management tools slash like activity things. So the first thing that I got, 
Um, this is, I've been seeing it all over Instagram and I had to get my hands on it, but it's this little hand shredder. I'm sure you guys have seen this. Um, my friend Mandy thought it would be really cute to put like shred your worries away on it in vinyl. So that's what she did with her. She ended up getting one as well. But I thought this would be a really good way um, for like a community circle to kind of let the kids write something down that's maybe bothering them or is consuming their mind so that they're having a hard time focusing. They can just shred it and, um, you know, it'll go away magically. <laughs> um, but I got one of these, thought it was really cute. I will probably put some sort of vinyl on it um, and use it for my homeroom kids. So there's that. And then I got um, two of these little push lights. They're just like the battery operated push lights. And I saw somebody do it, I don't remember who, but they had vinyl boys and girls on these and they had them hanging by the door. And then when the kids go to the restroom, they just turn it on so that I I know someone's in the bathroom um, you know just another management tool I am gonna be doing departmentalized social studies and science next year so I'm not gonna be giving my students like weekly bathroom passes I'll just probably have them sign out and then push this so that I know someone's in there but I thought those would be really cute and then I also grabbed two of these classroom timers and they're actually pink <laughs> which I'm really happy about. Um, and they are magnetic as well, so they have the magnets on the back. I'm not gonna be doing any like math drills because I'm not teaching math next year, but I thought because I do have a, a moment in time in my day where I will be doing like interventions and I'll be working with students on things that their math and ELA teacher um, give me to do with them. So I will use these for like, you know, reading fluency or um, math drills. And I can also use them for like classroom management or like a timed science test or something like that. I don't know. I know that I needed a classroom timer. So two is better than one. Uh, the next thing I got was this colorful Jenga. This is like a timber tower is what they call it but I love how it comes with the different colors and the different patterns. So instead of painting my own set of Jenga, I just thought I would be lazy and get one that's already colorful. And then you can use these A for a game for like indoor recess or B you can use this for like a review game with uh, task cards. So I thought that that would be a really good uh, purchase for that purpose. Um, so colorful Jenga. And then I got a pack of these suction cup balls. Same thing. I really wanted to do like a fun um, science vocabulary game or like a social studies game. Um, I really want to make science social studies really engaging for my students with lots of games and activities. So I grabbed these because um, they can throw them at the whiteboard. You know, the whole drill. So that's just a bunch of suction cut balls. I did take a couple out for cash to enjoy though. <laughs> um, this is probably my favorite purchase coming up right here. If you guys know me, you know that I love to turn the lights off, put on some music, and I have like lights like Christmas lights and lamps and stuff everywhere. I don't like fluorescence, but I like to do moments in my classroom when the kids are working independently or if they're working in a collaborative group. I like to like bump music and make it like a really fun environment for my kids. So I got a disco ball. It's this tiny little like strobe light disco ball. And you guys, it's so cool because if you put it like somewhere, it like lights up the entire ceiling. And it also has a setting that will go to the beat of the music that you're playing. So I thought I had to have that, um, you know, for all of my games and activities that we're gonna be doing. Plus I'm gonna be doing a lot of project-based stuff. And so during work time, I would love to just have this strobing throughout the room because that's normal in a classroom, right? Okay, so this last piece of like management, um, classroom engagement stuff is one of those tabletop spinning prize wheels. I'm not gonna take the whole thing out because it is in a lot of pieces, but basically it's huge and it's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be, but that's fine. So I thought that I could use this for um, like, a classroom prize situation so it is dry erase you just write the name of the prize on it and then because I am departmentalizing I thought maybe like the winning class could spin the wheel or like maybe one student at the end of the day could spin the wheel um, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna use it for yet I know it will be some sort of classroom management um, prize tool but I had to get it um, but it's humongous I couldn't even believe I, I opened I'm like <gasps> That was supposed to be like tabletop, but it is tabletop. So anyway, that is the last one of my management tools. Now let's get into organization stuff. 
Okay, so there are a couple of bigger items that I'm gonna just leave in the box and post a picture of them here because I don't wanna have to pull them out and get all the styrofoam and everything because I'm keeping it all at my house until I can move into my new classroom, so I really don't wanna like disturb the packaging. Um, but one thing I will show you, so part of my organization this year, I really wanted to transition to more like clear. I really wanted to transition into like clear containers for all my organization just to kind of make it more like clean and neat and purposeful and it all matches um and so one of the things that i got was two of these little they're like mountable folder file things this one came with you could either screw it to the wall or it came with a magnetic um option so i got two of those and then the other thing that's clear that i got were like two clear paper trays um and i'll put a picture of them right here and i just was thinking that maybe i would put all my colored paper in them inside my cabinet um in my classroom so that it, i can kind of like see the paper better i don't know why i think it will just look really nice and clean and then so I grabbed two of those and then I've been seeing this guy all over Instagram. This is the metal spice rack. I am a little bit confused with like what you would do here. I think maybe you would hang a towel or something. I will probably end up using this in some other way, like find another little shelf or something, but it comes with the magnets on the back and then um, it has one shelf and then some of these little hangy guys. So I'll probably use this on my whiteboard somehow for like all of my things. I'll probably put like a timer on here, maybe like a thing of markers. Maybe I'll put my microphone here. I could hang my doorbell from here. Just things that I use all the time during my lessons I can have right there at hands reach, arms reach. Um, and then I got uh, a new class set of um, supply bucket so I got six of them Is there one there? No. so I got six of them I got black because like I said my classroom theme is really just like black with colors my other ones were starting to get really dingy and gross and so I decided to just get black so I'll probably print some sort of vinyl and have one of these on top I'm planning to have tables um, in my classroom because I am the science teacher so I've requested rectangle tables and my principal said yes you'll probably be able to get those so I figured I could put those on top of the tables and then they can have their supplies right there another thing that I got for on top of the tables are these giant book bins from really good stuff and the reason why I got these is because I am departmentalizing which means I'm going to have three blocks of students so what I thought I would do is have these out on the tables like on the end of each table and they come with dividers so obviously there's like three different um, sections and so I would put my student notebooks in here and store them in here on the tables so that the kids don't have to take them in and out of their backpacks when they come to my class they're not gonna have to take anything out because everything is gonna stay in there I'm the science teacher and social studies teacher and a lot of my homework is gonna be like a project based stuff so I figured they won't need to take anything home with them unless they need it for like information so I'll just keep them in there and then that will be how we organize that another item that I'm not going to show you guys is this metal cart with the chef board top I was planning on using that as like a demonstration station because it has the chef board top that I can wipe down and it will stay nice and neat um, and if that doesn't work out like if it's not a big enough space then I might just use it as my teaching station so I can put like my dot camera on it and all of my teaching stuff on it and it'll just be really helpful so this next item is probably my favorite piece that I got from Amazon and it is this wireless remote control socket. So basically what you do with this, like I said a minute ago, I like to have lamps. I don't like fluorescent lighting. I have lots of Christmas lights in my room. Um, I probably will end up getting a second one of these, but basically what happens is you plug your lamp into this. Then you plug this into the wall. I'm wondering if you can put like, you know, you can buy them. It comes with like three ports or USB ports and then plug that into here. It'll probably work. But basically what you do is you plug your lamp into this and then you put these. So there's five of them. So you put them around the room, you plug your lamps in and then you put this in one place and you can turn on all of your devices in one spot instead of me having to walk around the room and turn each lamp on by itself 
one at a time it takes forever so every morning when I walk in now all I have to do is push the button and turn all my lamps on in one second instead of having to wander around the room and turn all the lamps on individually so I will probably end up getting another one of these this is made by BM link um, and again it looks kind of like this but I thought that was genius my friend Mandy um, convinced me to go for that and I'm really excited about it okay so I'm gonna put all this stuff back and then I'm gonna show you guys the wire rack that I purchased and The reason why I purchased this was I'm pretty sure I don't have a lot of storage in my new classroom. I know that I might have at least one metal cabinet, if not two. So I wanted to get something to A, not only store things on, but B, possibly use as like a project drying station. I might actually end up getting another one of these rolling shelf units if I need it. Once I get into my classroom, if I feel like I need a little bit more room to store things on or if the one that I have is full of storage stuff and I want another one for projects I'll probably get another one because it was really affordable I think it was around $30 but I thought that this could be a place since I am going to be doing a lot of project based stuff it could be a place for my students to put their projects on to dry or to leave them until they get to them the next day um, just because I won't have a lot of counter space so this could kind of double as counter space and then, like I said, these two boxes contain just some bulletin board paper, um, white shiplap, and white brick. And they're like the better than paper ones that are kind of like dry erase. So I'm really excited about those. So that is everything that I bought from Amazon for my classroom so far. I'm sure that I will have a few more hauls for you guys as the summer comes to an end and I still have lots of time to go shopping. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, if there's anything here that I purchased that you are interested in getting for yourself and for your classroom, I will put the links down below so that you can enjoy them for yourself. Um, if you guys aren't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram at apples and tiaras. I do lots more daily posting there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.